to avoid common party planning mistakes, celebrity event planner Sebastian Setner, everybody. What do we know from Sebastian? Always have a backup plan. Plan in advance, have a backup plan. The more you can do in advance to anticipate the problems, yeah. with some little tips and tricks, yeah. the better off you'll be when those problems come up. First, we have to get the tone set, okay? We gotta get Absolutely. the party I mean, tone. a party, what's a party without music? So right. we gotta start with a little bit of music. A little bit we of music, cue please. Cue some music. Cue some music, please. There we go, okay, so, there we go. Time Dude, for that, dinner. It's like the magic of TV. Yeah. So, the music playlists are something that um, often people don't think about ahead of time. So the whole idea is that, you know, you can do with so many music services nowadays, set up a playlist for, you know, as your guests arrive, sure. the cocktail hour, the dinner party. Yeah. You know, like, because the worst thing is, is that you're ru rushing, you know, you grab your iPod, you press play, Eye of the Tiger comes on, you're thinking, like, <laughs> right, this is not what I was thinking of when I was thinking, like, you know. Not till after 11. Yeah, maybe that's after yeah, 11. 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. playlist is a great thing to do to make sure that you're all ready, and that way you've got them queued up for different parts of the night. Dinner time. Dinner time. So, you hungry? Yeah, I love to. Okay, great. He makes Marilyn, really good so food. Marilyn, so what I've prepared for you in, you know, arduously in the kitchen okay. is a beef tenderloin with a bit of mushroom risotto. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm not eating red meat these days. Oh. Okay, so. What do you do? What happens? Okay, well, first of all, little, I'm going to refer back to some stuff my mom used to teach me because she was a big entertainer. She always said that a good host is ready for anything. Right. And a good guest always lets people know ahead of time if, by the way, I'm not eating this, I'm not eating this. Yeah. But don't count on your guests to do that. Yeah. So what we have here is we're going to do the beef tenderloin for everybody with the mushroom risotto. Uh-huh. And we're going to have... swap out for you. Oh, what's this? It's a portobello mushroom. Which grilled looks portobello like the beef. mushroom. Ah. Exactly. So here's the idea. A couple okay. of things. First of all, you want the course to be something that's very, very simple. Because a lot of times you won't find that out till like the last minute. Yes. So in this case, we did a mushroom risotto. We had the portobello mushrooms. I always keep a couple of portobello mushrooms in the fridge. Because mm -hmm. worst case scenario, after a dinner party, I'm going to slice them up and make them into a salad. Okay. So it's not like anything extra, really. Okay. But it's nice so that people feel like they're getting something that looks like what everybody else is getting. All right. Very good. Okay. So have that option just in case. But as a good guest, we should let you know if we're it's on It's nice a if you do. Yeah. But I mean, to be yeah. prepared for it is great. Yeah. And things yeah. also also, like, for example, having fruit and sorbets for dessert in case somebody is not eating dairy or whatever it might right. be. I have a couple of things around that you can always use the next day for lunch, for sure. breakfast, to serve to your kids, mm -hmm. but good to have in the fridge the night of a dinner party. What about drinks? What are you going to make for well, me? Well, I'm going to make you, so what I did was, okay, I know how you like your cocktails, and I made you actually a cucumber... I like the way you make my cocktails. Okay. Okay, and, I told your uh, wife, Sheila, that he yeah, makes I the know, best. I know, They're good, they're yeah. good. So a cucumber-infused vodka with a little bit of soda. I know you like your vodka sodas. I do. Okay, and vodka soda? I want to cleanse. Oh, God. I can't do it. All right. I want to, but I can't, so I want to so cleanse. So here's what we're going to do. What are you going to do? I'm going to play around and pretend you're, that's really true. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's true. It's not true. Okay. So, of course, not only do people sometimes are not drinking, yeah. et cetera, but they're, whether they're driving, whether they're, mm -hmm. they're, it's a Monday night, whatever the reason might yes. be, okay? Yes, yes. So what I did here was we actually have a cucumber soda that I had in the fridge. So I've got a non-alcoholic alternative that, again, doesn't make you feel like you're not Looks having... Looks like everybody else's, but right, it's not. that in there. But can I just say something? I, cucumber vodka soda, come on! I know. I know. I'll tell you what, I'm going to enjoy the cucumber vodka soda and you go with your cleanse. That's really good. Mm. Mistake number four, don't clean up when the guests are still there. I agree with you. I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to, but don't. So you've been to our house for dinner, and yep. you know that... So my wife and I have a really good system. We kind of like, you know, one of us sits at the table for the first course. Yeah. You know, after the first course, and I quickly clear or whatever. Yeah. You, that's, that's really not ideal, and it's difficult to oh. do. And what I find is that more and more is if you're that type of person that doesn't want to look at dirty dishes, especially with open kitchens nowadays, uh -huh. then that's it's great. True. This is a great little trick. So what we do is... Either, first of all, have your dishwasher completely empty, run, so you can throw stuff right in there immediately. Okay. Secondly, if you don't have the dishwasher nearby, or if you're outdoors, for example, grabbing a basket, filling it with some plastic, mm -hmm. like this, lining it with plastic, mm -hmm. and then when your dishes are done, you come off the table, mm -hmm. literally drop them right in here, hide them, and then you can deal with them after your guests leave. After. And okay. another option is to use rentals. So yeah. if you are doing a big enough dinner party, yeah. if you don't have enough stuff, you can always use rentals because the good thing is you can return them dirty. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, that's right. Just put them on the side of the house and away you go. Okay, so let's talk about not being prepared for the party to go late, which is rare for, I can look at all of you, and that never happens. No, of course not. Never, But, so, but it's just in case it does go late, what do you do? So it's always nice that, especially if, you know, that when the eye of the tiger does come on, and there's, <laughs> but on purpose, and there's, like, tequila shots and stuff, yeah, and it's yeah. 1 o'clock in the morning, 
Um, you want to have something that people can nosh on, uh, something late sure, night. So sure, a couple I of gotcha. ideas. First of all, always have some soups. You can have pre-prepared soups. There, there's fantastic gourmet soups now that, that you can sit in the cupboard yeah. for long, long periods of time. Oh. I always have something like that on hand. So if the party keeps going late, mm -hmm. you quickly warm it up. We serve little shots of soup. This is so great. Look at and these then, little cups. And then, just again, to make it kind of like, you know, very sort of Sebastian style when it comes to entertaining, because I don't want to just... It is Sebastian style. Is a couple little croutons. Yeah. This would be me. Like, I'd be like, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we yeah, go. Put soup in it, Marilyn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, <laughs> okay, because cleanse, I'm not a good <laughs> eating red meat, and your plating skills. Okay, need to yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I'll do this again. okay, here we go. All um, right. So, that would be one thing. Or, sure. have, for example, this is great to have some pre. Here, don't worry, I'll clean okay, that up okay, later. Okay. <laughs> Put it in the box. Come on, Put it in the box. Yeah, Put it in the box. Go. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, all okay, finished. quickly, 30 seconds, go. And then the last thing is, is that having some stuff that you can warm up really quickly. So whether it's in this case, actually, it's pre-prepared appetizers, they're frozen appetizers, presenting them nicely. You can throw them in the oven for a couple yeah, minutes. Yeah, nobody's going to know. They're hungry. No, you know what? At that point in the night, it's just they want some food. Or you know what my go-to is? What? It's kind of pedestrian, but it's hot dogs. I love hot dogs. So always just have hot dogs. You put some little gourmet mustards or, or mayonnaises. You, if you actually do this and you come out at midnight and you've got a tray of hot dogs, people just like their eyes light up. Because they're starving. Their eyes light up, I know. Sebastian Sender, everybody, knows how to put on a party. We'll see you, everyone. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you next time.